Well, the current shoe business as a general, as a generalization, it, the first three months of this year uh, were uh, quite bad, and everybody blames it on the weather because they were selling sandals and open footwear, and the, the weather wasn't adaptable for that. But in the last three months, it has been so good that it's really pretty well offset from the first. So the momentum in the footwear is absolutely fine. Uh, I think the balance, stocks will be a little out of balance because some types of footwear didn't meet the weather needs, uh, therefore uh, it's going to create a few more markdowns. So the bottom line might not be as good, but the top line is uh, coming out uh, just fine. And which leaves, for a trade show like this, it leaves people in a good mood because their current business is, is good. And, uh, the emotions, just like buying in a retail store for the buyer, has the same effect as, as their current mood. And of course, they try to project the future, but they're, they're, a lot of it's projecting by what's going on at the time that they have to make the purchases. So, at generalization, people are in a very positive mood. In fact, I think the best mood uh, going forward they've been in several years. So. Uh, if the, our economy is growing very slowly, but it is growing. And unemployment, real estate, all the key factors, home buildings are all up, uh, in, including our unemployment. It's, again, a slow uh, improvement, but it, it's an improvement. So I think uh, we're in good, pretty good shape going forward. Americans would love have more European shoes. It's just been our culture. Uh, Italian shoes in particular have a, a big history in the United States, but it, it, American is, is very price driven at the same time today. Uh, so price can, it really is uh, controls. Uh, in the pure luxury market, um, which Italy is the only one that, that really supplies to that market at this point. Uh, price seems to be uh, unimportant and because the styling's there, prestige is there, but it's such a small part of the business, I don't think it's really affecting the needle for either party, the American retail or the, but they're the leaders and the, they set the trends and that's a, a very important factor. So. They deserve the, all the credit in the world. To, <laughs> but the shoes today, coming out of Italy, uh, as the in the American mind, they're really a piece of art. They're not just shoes, and uh, never made such intricate and beautiful shoes as they're making right now through the designer labels and etc. So um, that that market has been strong, and uh, there may be a little softening of that right now. But it, I don't think it's a, a trend or anything. This show is, is, seems to be good. Uh, the um, trade shows are not the same as they were many years ago. We don't have the masses of retailers, so much consolidation between the department stores and buying other department stores. In a sense. It doesn't mean there's less uh, 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 footwear being sold, but it does mean there's fewer people buying them. And <coughs> the independent, uh, the strong ones stay in there, and uh, but to be an independent retailer is uh, is a, remains a challenge in any country uh, because of the, the power of the larger stores and their dominance of uh, actually in pricing merchandise. Uh, independents always have to uh, struggle to get their own identity, uh, and it has more to do with the, the buying power of the big stores versus the smaller stores. But uh, no, we're in good shape, and uh, in the trend here for Spanish uh, trade shows thing is, remains positive. The format for Fanny is, is we have four shows a year. The first month of February, first week of February, first week of June, first week of August, first week of, of December. And these uh, dates always uh, remain challenged, if, but it set a pattern now for uh, 
several years that uh, they've proven to be the right dates and they're dominant. And shopping in New York, as difficult as it is to shop our trade shows versus a, a trade show that's all under one roof, which is normal. Um, the, shopping in New York and seeing the street fashion, uh, dealing with the owners of the companies from the retailer's point of view, can't be replaced anyplace else. And it's dominant. It's our job to try to make the, the experience more pleasant and, and user friendly. Uh, but uh, the format uh, that we have established will uh, continue. Our, our biggest challenge is uh, February and August shows were limited in actual space <coughs> that we can acquire here in the Hilton, and it's proven over and over and we, as we've tried different venues and uh, at the Javits and at the Piers that we can keep this market right here at the Hilton. We'll do everything to do that, so it's um, it's much more convenient. You have, <coughs> excuse me, you have to really think about convenience when you're shopping in New York because it's hard to move around. And we have some 80, 90 showrooms participating, and they are now all over the city. They used to be based right here in this 56, 57th Street area. Now they're on the west side and Chelsea and. Uh, Soho, so people don't mind, it's just uh, the inconvenience of getting there. So uh, it takes more time. What you can do in two days at a, a normal trade show takes you a week to do here. Uh, but you benefit a lot more, I think, by shopping in New York. You really see the people, you see the you visit the stores, you do everything that that helps you be a better better buyer. It pretty much goes to sourcing uh, where the shoes are going to be made in the world. Uh, that's a, a current challenge with uh, China, which I, my figure is correct, is making over 96% of all shoes worn in America are made in uh, China. And as the price goes up, uh, sourcing to find other places will, will be it is and will be a challenge because it's a price-driven market for the uh, most part as well as fashion. But uh, you got to have fashion at a price for uh, the number of people. And uh, as far as there's a lot of uh, rumors about uh, trying to make more uh, footwear in the United States. And I, that, that market, the components, the machinery, the whole, the leather, it's all disappeared. So putting it back together is a puzzle that's nearly impossible in my mind, even though I would love to see it happen and we support it in whatever way we can in our little way. But uh, it's, a, it's a global problem. It's not, it's not somebody's desire, individual desire to have a... Uh, but it's, uh, so uh, I, I think uh, the sourcing is, uh, remains the biggest problem.